All right. Next question. Um, what's the black community's greatest achievement? Barack Obama. Um, that is a great achievement. I mean, it's a great achievement. Uh, Barack Obama was probably the greatest inspiration to yeah, the yeah. black community. For hands like down. temporary, I'd say. Hands one down. of the greatest. He has been probably one of the, if there is any person that needs a role model to follow, it'd be him. Yeah. Without a doubt. Even though he might not be popular amongst the majority of people, but still he gets the job done. He's a man about it. I mean, he, he, one of the very few presidents, if you tell you, he went from food stamps to giving them out to people. <laughs> you were to, to ask me, I wouldn't say we, as a black community, we haven't fully, fully accomplished an achievement. Hell no. We've accomplished Do you know how many things in this country that are the, are solely because of black people? The fact that you have air conditioning, no. red lights, the Twins. microwave, peanuts. What? Don't ever say that again. Don't ever say that again. We have done world for this country. Can you explain? We have done the world for this country. All right, all right. All right. It's it's what I was trying to say is, I understand that, yes, we do we have, have the street lights, the microwave. We yeah. still have a long way to go yeah. before we can say as a black community that we have achieved greatness because we haven't because we're still working on that now. We don't well, well it's, we, it's, it's not necessarily about achieving greatness. So it was, it was just it. asking what's our greatest yeah, achievement. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying I don't think we fully. So I'm going to ask you this too. What do you think achieving greatness in any occasion would be? What are, what is a since this is about like a well, race if you look at it now, right? When we do achieve something, something, when we do achieve something, what does the white man say that we haven't achieved yet, or right. wasn't good enough, or wasn't there yet? So until we can get to a point, I believe, where we can say, yeah, they don't have a response, then I think we've achieved something. Honestly, Honestly I think that will never happen. To hear, to hear, to hear white people say that, okay, look, we can't complain about them. Well, what? I don't think that'll ever happen. Just because of the history between blacks and whites. Even though it's 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 not a racism type of thing. It's just kind of maybe pride. They don't want to admit it. I don't know, but I feel like that's gonna happen. Ever. I, uh, I say go ahead. I was gonna say a lot of our achievements got is reflected amongst our holiday. You know, we uh we got Martin Luther King Day. What he did was a great achievement among racism that was going on. Uh, a lot of the civil rights that yeah, fought with it. That right, it civil work rights. Well. You know, I think a lot of our holidays that we got reflects a lot of what African Americans did for this country. And I think we still, we, like he said, I still we got more to do. Way, you know yeah, what I'm saying? We yeah, got a lot more to do. But we've come a long way as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, we yeah, have. Yeah. I'm not lying, man. We have came a long way since then. But I still think we still got a little bit more work to do. And until we can get to a point where then that's that, then I don't think we can. Like I said, it is a question to ask, will they ever stop talking? But it's in order for somebody to stop talking, you got to continue to keep proving. So if we continue mm -hmm. to keep proving and to achieving, mm -hmm. so that means not living, living above the standards of what everybody else says. So don't have the mindset of what everybody else, if everybody else expects you to fail, why are you going to say you're going to fail when you know you can succeed anyway? So until we get to a point where they say, oh my God, they're continuing to achieve, then, then maybe we can get to a point where they say, I don't know, maybe they are trying to make a turnaround. But until then, when we still see our African Americans on TV doing one thing and doing this and doing that and doing this, and then even when it goes back to living in poverty, I, I think we have to continue to get out, uh, out of poverty to say that we continue to achieve something. If our people are still living in poverty, of course you're going to have those that Poverty is never going to end. It's always going to be poverty. Yeah. But until we get to a point where our poverty rate is low, then I say we achieve something. But until then, I don't think we have because even though those African Americans, those selected few are achieving, we still have a low poverty rate. And when they get to the top, I think that goes back to the first question that you said. Can we help each other? Because the ones that get to the top, they're going, I've made it, so I did what I have to do. So they don't think about what's going on. They're thinking like, I've made it, so you know, y'all need to as well. But see, that's what we need to change, you know what I'm saying, as far as, I think all biggest achievement, you know, I guess, us succeeding in life and giving back to the black community, I think that's the biggest achievement we could possibly have, because it's up to us, you know what I'm saying, to change all that, you know. 
Yeah, feeling and helping someone. It really, else. it really starts with every generation because if you, if you look at the problems we have amongst our own community, it's like how we come up. It's ridiculous. So <laughs> if you, if you, if you fix, to put it close, you fix how we come up. You fix the problem, even though it's broad. That's not easy to do or easy, easily done or anything like that. But uh, that's the area of, of concentration that we need to focus on. Giving back to the youth because I feel once you have reached a certain age, your mind is already set. No one's going to change it. I mean, once you reach 15, you're going to do what you want to do regardless. But from from about born, newborn to about 12, that's where it matters. You got to instill everything you want that kid to know for the rest of his or her life in those 12 years. Or or you lost them. Because once you hit that middle ground between that 12 to 15, that's when they're going to start going, you know what, I think these things are solid. And by the time you hit that, you know, it's, like, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, don't, don't, don't forget this. Don't forget. It's like a last minute stage. It's like, okay, uh, I'm going to tell this kid uh, not to sell drugs because it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin his future and that he should try and stay in school to keep himself well. And then it's like, okay, all right, by the time he's 12, he's saying, yeah, I'm supposed to stay in school to keep myself well. But, you know, I'm starting to see people around here selling these drugs, and they're seeming to they're seeming they're be fine. By the time they hit 15, all their friends are locked up. And yeah. they're like, oh, oh, man. Well, maybe I won't be that person. Maybe I'll be the lucky one who makes it. Yeah. And then it gets worse because now they're stuck on this thing that they believe because now you're hitting that, well, okay, this is what my parents believe, but what do I believe? They got people trying to find themselves selling drinks, and it's not working. At the same time, you got young kids that they look that look up to them, so it's just a cycle. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. They go, they, they grow up with this. The, the African people just keep it a cycle, so mm -hmm. and that's the cycle that all of us have to break, and the ones that follow behind us. I think an achievement would be being able to find pride in ourselves, because, like, the fact that. Everything that we do is based off of standards of white people. Well, if we had our own standards and we achieve and we can meet up to them and appreciate what we do instead of always saying, all right, you know, I yeah, I tied my shoe today. And then it's like, so do, do you guys tie your shoes still? Oh, you guys are wearing Velcro. Oh, maybe our shoe tie isn't that great. <laughs> well, it's like you gotta be happy that you got your shoes, and if you like them, that those are yours. You know, you gotta yeah. stop basing everything you do on somebody, on somebody else. else. Yeah. You base it off of what you're feeling, and that you you're like, you know what? I got it done, and I don't care what nobody thinks, because there's nothing they can do about it, because I've done it too. Yeah. Kind of have to move forward with yourself before you can see and yeah, yeah. bring everybody with you. You have to going back to what you said. I think you. As an African American, once you're born as an African American, you're already at a disadvantage already as it is as soon as you're born. But, <laughs> so, it, it, but I think you do have to find your own identity as as of who you are as an African American. Yeah, you gotta embrace that disadvantage. And it starts, you know, young. If you can find out who you are young, I believe as parents, even as teenagers and brothers and sisters, if we can tell each other what you know where we need to go and how to guide each other and what's the right way, we'll be perfectly fine. And in achieving, we can achieve more at this time because now everybody's on the same page. But in the community now, we're not achieving what we should be achieving because everybody's here when we should be here and bringing each other up at the same time. But one wants to get here, and another one wants to get here, and it's not working. Another achievement that I was going to get to that, that I think we need is father figures around here. You know, a lot of us, and it's getting less, the percentage is getting less yes. and less. The, the, the father figure has to come. Exactly, the percentage of the single parent household exactly. and black communities is, is high. Yeah, it's very high. Right? Especially mothers yeah. raising yeah. four or yeah. five kids. It gets a lot of these yeah. kids lost. That ties yeah. back into that. Cycle. That's the root yeah. right yeah. there. You got, you got a single mom barely making, she's got five kids. All those kids want attention. They're going to find it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to give them that attention. It doesn't matter if it's a good person or a bad one. And most of the time, it's the bad one. Mm -hmm. But you can't blame the kid. That's just how that's life, life. That's life. Yeah. That's life. That's why you got to change it from the root. Because you can't blame the child. You don't know no better.